the equation of a curve is this, okay, where k is a constant. In the case where k is to 5, show that this line is a tangent to the curve and find the coordinate uh, of the point of contact. I think many of you got these three marks, and that's why uh, you get, I saw a lot of three just now. I really can't remember. But anyway, so part one should be quite easily done, right? So k is equal to 5. This is it. All right, show that this line is a tangent. How do you show it's a tangent? It must intersect at one point. Agree? It must intersect at one point, that's all. So when you are trying to solve for the intersection point, this is what you get. Okay? And you just need to explain to people uh, that this equation only has one solution. So there are a couple of ways we can do this. Let me show you quickly. All right, uh, 7 minus 19, so that's like minus 12, and then plus 18, and that's equal to 0, correct? Let me just double confirm. Yeah, okay. Uh, and of course, you simplify this further by dividing throughout by 2. A few ways you can actually show that is a tangent. One way is to solve this, and you only get one answer, which is not hard, because if you take a look at this, this is like x minus 3 squared. x equal to 3. If you say that, Mr. I cannot see it like that, how? Don't worry. Just pretend to use the formula, then you use a calculator. Right? Remember, I talked about it before minus b plus minus. Just write down the formula, then use a calculator. You can't go wrong anyway. x equal to 3. Another way, you can show that the b squared minus 4ac is actually equal to 0. Okay? This is a bit more exotic. Alright? Uh, b squared minus 4ac is equal to 12 squared minus 4ac. And you show that it's equal to 0. Therefore, there's only one solution. But I think this is this is better because eventually you need to find a point anyway, what? You follow? So you might as well just kill two pigs with one bird and then just get it done. Understand? Uh, rather than do the discriminant show that, oh yeah, it's only one solution there, and then you're going to find a solution separately. Okay, but the whole idea is it works. As long as you are clear. Alright, your working is clear, people understand that you are clear, people know that you know your stuff, you get the marks. Okay, so anyway, uh, like I said, this is what probably everybody can do. That's why a lot of people get three marks. So when x equals three, go get the y. Uh, of course, you can uh, put inside the line. I think that's much easier. The answer is, hold on now, 44, which is a very strange uh, kind of number. Okay, the thing is this, right? Now, because you're supposed to show that it is a tangent, so just writing this down doesn't show effectively. You are just solving. You, you didn't explain why. Yeah. So you have to write down a line. If you want to do the blue color part, uh, you have to explain yourself. Well, since there is only one intersection. Get me not? Ah. Intersection. And then therefore, uh, the line is a tangent. And you have to explain. Because you, you must understand that this working, where x equals 3, it doesn't show that it's a tangent, you know. You follow? Alright, it just, what you're doing here is you're just trying to find the intersection point. Okay? But you have to write down, I mean, no, it's common sense. I know you know it's common sense. But you have to write down. Okay? You have to write down that, oh, because there's only one intersection point, therefore it must be the tangent. Done. Just this one line. Understand? Okay, the other way is, of course, using the b squared minus 4 ac. And then that really shows. Because the b squared minus 4 ac shows that there's only one solution. Uh, and then, uh, again, you probably have to explain. Because there's only one solution, it must be the tangent. Okay, Ken? So do take note of a presentation. I think uh, some of you got uh, a little bit of presentation issue. You just don't like to show your steps clearly. So that is going to be a potential kind of a headache you are going to invite for yourself. Okay, so don't. Don't be sloppy. I think I said it many times. Alright, next one. Uh, explain why there's only one value of k for which uh, y cannot be negative. Right I think this is the one uh, that we want to uh, neck on. Okay, this is probably the one that is uh, badly done. That uh, a lot of people didn't get it right. Okay, you know what? No space. And it's got nothing to do with the first part anymore, right? So we're just going to... Put it here and let's explain is the word. All right, you have to have a clear sense of uh, reasoning, not just showing the math. You have to make sense of your maths. 
You understand? So the, the steps, yeah, you must try to make sense later. Uh, that's explain why there's only one value of k for which y cannot be negative. And state this value. So the state this value is one mark. The rest are all three marks. Okay, y cannot be negative means this. must be positive or equal to zero. I think we talked about this many times. All right? Uh, never negative doesn't mean always positive. Remember? We talked about that many times, okay, in class, right? Not girl doesn't mean you must be boy. That kind of idea. Okay? So cannot be negative doesn't mean it must be positive. No, it can include zero. Versus the difference between always positive. Always positive means it cannot even be zero. Clear or not? We talk about that many times, right? Okay, so there are people who uh, somehow got the equal sign wrong, but I think that's minority. So I just want to nag. Okay, the whole idea of revision to prepare for exam is nagging. Just make sure you all nag, 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 and remember for the next one week. That's all. Next, which is very disappointing. Okay, we talk about this many times in class also. What does this mean? All right. Still, I see people do this. B squared minus 4ac more than equal to 0. Now, this is the moment you see this, you get 0 already. Alright? And I saw some of your scripts for your uh, prelim exams also. You came out for your prelim exams, and also some of you got it wrong. You see? So it's like same thing, uh, neck and neck and neck, uh, no use one. So please, let this be the last time. Okay? So take note, this is wrong. Okay? Why is this wrong? Because this is trying to tell you something. Alright, first of all, you must understand that this is an inequality that you cannot solve. The reason you cannot solve is because you cannot factorize. Well, the reason you cannot factorize is because there's a k. Simple enough? Alright, so therefore you cannot solve this. But anyway, nobody asks you to solve this. They're asking for k, not x. Understand? So, so the, the, they're trying to tell you something here. The y cannot be negative means y is a happy face, and y must be floating above the x-axis. Alright, now Mr. Misan can be equal. Yeah, equal is just an exception case, but don't care about the equal for now. But just understand that this is the, the mental picture that you should have. Okay? Now, the opposite of this is what? It's a set face graph that is always negative. Then it will look like this. Yeah? But this is a positive, so it must be a happy face. Are we all good first? Can. Okay. So we talk about this many times. Right? What does this mean for my b squared minus 4ac? It means that it must be less or equal to zero. Alright, now again, don't be a smart aleck and try to memorize, oh, if I see this, I just flip, no, it is not. Okay, because if it's the, the other side, then you'll be copy and paste, you'll be the same. And the other that's more important is the idea. Alright, I'm sure you talked about this many times since sec 3 until now, I think, let's hope this be the last time, okay? Good, now, then we got b square minus 4, then that's it. The rest are, well, boring. Okay, pretty boring, really. All right, uh, and, and of course you expand. Okay, and then now this is an inequality that you can solve. Uh, minus 4k plus 4, uh, less than 0. So 4k plus 4, that's like a very nice number, right? 2. So it's uh, k minus 2 square, less than equal to 0. Now, I, most of you know what to do for this, which is good. Uh, cannot explain why there's only one value. Okay, so we have an inequality uh, that looks a bit like this: b squared minus four ac uh, less than or equal to zero. Then you end up with uh, this. How do you solve this? It's like what? How do you even draw it? It's not even like this, right? Like what? Correct, not? because most of the time we have something like this, and you say, "Oh, I, I'm going to have this range." This is. Do, do you know how to draw this? By the way, in case you don't know, you better want to know now, okay? So this one only got one intersect, two. It's a still a happy face, right? So the only way you can draw this is touching here, and that's it. Okay, so if you can relate this to this, then you can understand why it says only one. Understand? So you try to relate, because like I say, most of the time we have this kind. And, and, and therefore we got this. And then we can, uh, well, work backwards, right? Uh, not work backwards, shade, and then we get the answer. But this one is a bit weird, right? But anyway, we, we are expecting it to have one answer only, so that's, that's okay. So try to understand that. So, that's not the answer, right? You have to explain. So how do you explain? How do you explain that there's only one value of x, uh, sorry, k? There's a, k only one value so that this can happen. So you just have to explain yourself that, well, 
Um, K minus uh, K minus two whole thing square uh, is positive for all K values except K equals to two. Make sense? Because it's a perfect square, what? Right. So whatever as K you put inside K can be one million, it will still be positive. All right, uh, k can be negative one million. You minus two, you square, it still be positive. So k, it, this k minus two square is always positive, no matter what value for x, uh, k. Sorry, uh, except k go two, because when you put in k go two, it will not be positive anymore. Make sense? So therefore, k equals to two is the only what only value for k minus 2 squared to be less than or equal to 0. That's the only chance you have to make it equal to 0. It will never be negative. You know it for sure. Right? No way it can be negative. No way. Alright? Uh, but uh, it can only be equal to 0. And, and of course, that answers the next part of the question as well. So, I think the explanation, of course, you don't have to copy word for word. Alright? You can do in your own words, but the idea must be there. Understand? You are supposed to explain, so you don't stop short here, and then expect me to explain myself. Like, uh, okay, so what you you never explain to me why there's only one answer. So you have to explain to you people that oh, because there's only one answer, because that's the only one value for k that will actually make this happen, something like that. Understand? Okay, so look out for the word explain. Usually means you need to write some English. Okay, so take note of that. All right, it happens. Uh, this was just last year, so I don't know whether it happened in paper one, but watch out for it. The next thing is uh, state the value. Okay, the, 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 okay, the, the one is lame. Okay, so just put in one more line. K go to done. Okay, so this was one of the not so well done question. Uh, like I said, the reasoning is missing for many of you. All right, the reasoning is not up to standard, or maybe not even there. All right, the other thing that I saw wrong is this one. Okay, so this one still got people get wrong, so that's uh, really unreasonable, I would say. Okay.